Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to install a program called Stable Diffusion, which is a really neat open source AI image generator, and it lets you create amazing works of art in just a few seconds. But most of the time the hands and fingers might be a little jacked up. One of the coolest things about the program is being able to incorporate yourself into the artwork. Here's a reference photo of me that I just took. The program also comes with an amazing AI upscaler, and I was able to remove the film grain from my poorly lit webcam pic. I heard quite a few times that I look like Johnny Depp, but I never really seen it until I seen these paintings. There are a nice variety of different painting styles that you can create. Although not all of the models might look like you, it might look maybe half like you and half like someone else. And it can do a more realistic style. Those tend to capture your look a little better as well. You can put yourself in outer space, you can do a cyberpunk theme, the possibilities are really endless. It's like Photoshop, but better, <laughs> faster, and easier. And one of my favorite things to do is to create enough images to where you can create your own comic style story. <laughs> Not all of the images always line up with what you're trying to generate though. I'm just going to leave this here. <laughs> so you have to download several programs, one of which is Git for Windows, and I'll have all the download links in the description below. Uncheck Windows Explorer, and then just go with all the recommended settings after that. I didn't press install for the demo since I already have it installed, but I didn't check either of those last boxes. Once you're done installing that, head on over to your C drive and create a folder. You can name it whatever you want, but I just named mine AI. You can double click the folder and highlight the address and copy it, or you can just right click the folder and copy it. Then pull up the git bash program that you just installed and type in cd space right click paste and enter to direct the folder path. Then go to the github link for the automatic 11.11. .11. You want to look for the green box that says code. When you click that, it'll have a drop down and you'll be able to copy the link right next to it. Pull your command prompt back up where you just directed your folder path and type in git space clone space right click paste then enter to download that program. Then head on over to the hugging face link and download the sdv1 for ckpt file. Then head on over to the Python link and scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll probably want the Win64 unless you have a Win32 system. While that's downloading, you can head on over to the other GitHub link that has the GFP GAN file. Scroll down to the bottom and download the V1.4 model. And this is to help with faces to make them a little more accurate and a little bit nicer. Once Python is done downloading, install it, check the box that says add Python to path, then click install now. I already have it installed though, so that's why it's showing repair or modify, but you'll see install. Then head on over to the AI folder you just created and go into the main folder in Stable Diffusion. And this is where you want to drag the gfpgan file to. Then head on over to the models folder and then Stable Diffusion. And this is where you want to drop the sdv1 ckpt file, as well as any other custom models you might download. Then head on back to your main stable diffusion folder. You want to look for the second file to the bottom there, which is the web UI user batch file. You want to double click that. Once it's done installing a bunch of things, it'll give you a IP address. You want to copy the IP address and paste it into your browser. The IP address is always the same for everyone, so you can just bookmark that for easy access. But every time you want to access the program, you still have to pull up the user batch file. So in order to use this AI generator, you do have to have a pretty powerful video card. They recommend a 10 megabyte, but I believe you can get away with an 8 as long as you use certain settings. You can also use something called Google Colab, which I believe you use other people's systems to generate the images for you. I don't really know much about that though, so you'll have to check out another video for that. And there is a third option, which is having me generate the image for you. 
if any of my subscribers are interested, and I'll generate probably like 50 to 100 images and just cherry pick the best out of those, probably like 10. Yeah, and I'll upscale it in full HD, which can take a while. That process is a little tricky as it uses the AI to kind of fill in the gaps and it can make the image look totally different than the original. If you're interested, you just have to be a subscriber, have your subscription public, be 18 or over, and just leave a comment below to AI generate me. And within one week, I will pick one person at random. There are a few programs out there already though where you can do the same and they'll just charge you like five or fifteen dollars or something though. But I don't think they're too accurate and it doesn't really have too much flexibility. And stay tuned for the next video as I'll be doing a Dream Booth tutorial on how to integrate yourself into the images, which is kind of complex. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe, and hope to catch you on the next one.